Hey guys, my name is Tara, and today I'm gonna talk to you about salt. And I have just one question for you. Is your salt real? You're probably thinking, what do you mean, is your salt real? Or maybe you're thinking, why is in Puerto Rico a state? Honestly, I don't know. I basically slept through my high school civics class. Anyway, isn't all salt real? Isn't salt just salt in a word? No. You'll be surprised what's inside these shakers. Sugar? Toxic chemicals? Uh, this one won't surprise you. I mean, it's just a glass shaker, guys. Who brought this one? Look, the point is, you don't want anything in your salt but 100% real salt. So let me explain what makes salt real. I'm gonna put on my sciencey glasses and coat for this. From a chemical perspective, a salt is an acid and a base that form an ionic bond. When we're talking about the kind of salt we use to flavor our food, we mean sodium chloride. Your body's cells can't do their job without sodium chloride, which means you can't stay alive without salt. All salt is technically sea salt, but not all sea salt is technically real. If you want an authentic, healthy, real salt, you need to find a salt that's unrefined. Nature made salt with a lot more than sodium chloride in it. You've got dozens of trace minerals and microelements in the mix. A lot of salt producers remove some of these minerals. Beneficial elements like calcium chloride and magnesium chloride can be removed and sold separately. And they can still make money from selling you the leftovers. But most salt producers don't stop there. After they take the good stuff away, they put not so good stuff in. Salt is naturally hygroscopic. It absorbs moisture from the air, so a lot of companies add chemicals to keep their salt from clumping. For example, sodium ferrocyanide. Yep, that cyanide. Other brands try to avoid clumping by putting their salt in high heat kilns to dry it more completely. Hey, it's better than chemicals you can't pronounce, but you know what else works? Get a good brand of real unrefined salt and give it a quick tap on the counter. Clumping solved, was that so hard? No chemicals or heat required. Free-flowing, ancient sea salt with all the minerals nature gave it, none of the chemicals, and a much better flavor. These days, it's easier than ever to get cheap, fast, and convenient food. But do you really know where it comes from? The eggs for your omelet, kale for your salad, or salt for your table? How many times do they change hands before they show up on your plate? It's like a fruitcake that gets re-gifted every Christmas. No way of knowing who actually made that monstrosity. Seriously throw it out. When you're looking for a real salt, try to find out where it came from. If your salt comes from the current ocean, have you thought about microbeads, oil spills, pollution, and all those delightful treats humans dump into the ocean? If it comes from ancient seabeds, protected from pollution and underground deposits, how many miles did it have to travel before you bought it? Where does your salt come from? Who produces it? How do they get it into your kitchen? So remember, there's a lot more to producing great salt than just slapping the word sea salt on a label. That's why we love the question, is your salt real? At Redmond, our salt comes from a single mine, an ancient underground deposit in central Utah. We never take out the minerals nature gave us and we never add any chemicals or heat to get it to you. So maybe the simplest way to find a good clean salt is just to ask your local health food store, where's the real salt? And remember to look for the shaker with the blue lid.